Hey YouTube! So one of the things that we love to train as a bit of like an emergency instant recall, come back when called for our dogs, is a whistle recall. Now a whistle recall, so many of you might have accidentally poisoned your recall. Let me give you the story of Monty. Monty is pretty much a reformed character. There have been a few struggles in the past, some of them visiting dogs who don't like him, others maybe visiting people who don't need to see a large Labrador come charging at them yeah, and on sometimes their face. enjoying someone's picnic maybe rolling in some fox poo having that extra special bath in the mud you know what Monty has pretty much done it all now in the past his whistle had become poisoned so actually when his owner gave him that everyday special sort of recall call it didn't really happen. It didn't. And, and in fact, what started out as I come back when called, then it would be you have to call twice before I come back. Then, then it, it would be, be 30 or 40 times. And then it might be even stamping your feet because he really is not listening to the point that actually his lovely owner one day had to really go off hunting for yeah. him. And yet we know she's a great owner and we know he is a great, great, great dog. So with that, we taught a whistle recall. Now, all you need to train a whistle recall is a whistle. <laughs> Some of his daily food. Some of his daily food it allowance. It is absolutely do it. You can do it. Um, his owner can do it. Everyone out there, he's done this. This is, this is training that he's done. It's very, very achievable. There are just a few very simple steps. Absolutely, and we're gonna show you those steps right now. So if you have not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, this would be a great opportunity to do so. Let's dive into the steps. The other thing, guys, I'm gonna ask you all to do is share this video with a friend. You're gonna know someone who wants a good recall, and actually it helps everyone in the world if yeah. we have more dogs that behave better. So it's a good way to share and care. So first step, what I'm gonna do is I want to just gently condition what this means. So I'm gonna pop this in my mouth and let Tom carry on doing the talking. I am gonna be ready because I'm in a smallish space here yeah. and I haven't got him on lead. You could have a dog on a lead and a line depending or a harness and a line depending on the space you're in. I'm in quite a small space. I'm in quite a set up space in terms of we're nice and safe here. At the same time, we also could play this in the field, but if I was playing it in the field, I'd play it with a long line and I would play it with him on a harness so that I could interrupt and pick up that harness if I needed to. So I'm going to throw out my food. I'm going to pip, pip, pip. I'm going to reward him. I'm going to talk to him whilst Tom talks to you. Yeah. So first thing that is Monty. worth checking is that your dog is comfortable with a whistle. So Good brilliant. Boy. So you hear Good there that boy. Lauren threw Very a piece of food nice. out. He ate the piece of food just before he was going to orient back to Lauren. She did a very gentle pip, pip, pip. And I think noticing that very gentle because that is important. I wanted to see that he was um, basically in the right sort of headspace for it and that he wasn't worried by it because this is a novel environment for a dog like him. Ready? Yeah. And so what we're doing is we're setting up a situation. We throw a piece of daily food allowance out. Good he's going to orient back Good before boy. he just as he's Good orienting boy. back. We are going to do the pip, pip, pip. And when he comes back, we're going to feed, feed, feed. Now, of course, you're thinking this is so easy for the dog and training. You know what? If it's not easy, we're probably not doing it right. So we're throwing a piece of food out. Our dog's going to eat it, orient back to us. As they do, we whistle and we feed, feed, feed with us. This is conditioned the whistle is to be that reflex <laughs> default um, response to hearing that whistle and he took an extra back. opportunity there to go and capture a piece of food that was left on his bed don't panic about those I think that you've kind of got to find a way sometimes to giggle at your dogs and have a bit of fun here you're not working with a robot you're not working with a textbook you're not working with a, a piece of metal you're working with a living breathing being so actually to a degree watch them observe them anything he does do that you weren't expecting it's just information and when your dog gives you information you need to then read it and and and, and change a, accordingly let's have one more go at that that so sometimes I'm recalling him back to his bed and sometimes I'm recalling him back to me either is absolutely fine really it's about the proximity to you and the yeah. bed is in close proximity to me as well so I don't mind which you do I quite like a bit of both in this space I'm going to the bed because it's there but you can do both recall to you recall to the bed really however it works ready and are you gonna get it, get it, get it? 
Good Lovely. boy. And what Lovely. I love is that he hears that whistle and you start nice. to see that he accelerates. Nice. Like, oh my word, I'm getting okay. back get it, get it. because I'm going to get something cool. Love it. You see there? Nice. So we throw one piece nice. of food out to reset him and set him up to come back. Get it, get it, get it. And then we whistle. He accelerates towards us, comes to us, nice. and we make sure that he gets an extra special deal of a few pieces of his daily food. And I think that's important to acknowledge. He is sometimes getting three, four, five pieces of food for coming back. It's just his daily dinner. Yeah. This is his dish the bowl we've ditched the bowl we've ditched the routine it's him learning that recall now i know we've got hundreds of steps of this i know we've got many many steps but i just want to show you one more this time what i'm going to start to do is i'm going to actually let there be a bit of a distraction so tom do not let him get in that bowl i just want to test this i'm going to throw a piece of food and then you can kind of almost wave that bowl yeah. around he's a strong dog i'm just warning you okay. he's a big dog i've seen okay. him if I, i've seen I'm him do damage ready to land on this bed i've seen him do damage so you need to be ready for yeah. this hunk of a dog and um, as he dives over to you you're going to kind of tempt him and i'm going yeah. to see if i can whistle off you it's a bit of a distraction ready, ready, ready. ready? ready. get it get it get it get it get it good boy super super ready harder good boy i was a bit late ready Steady. Harder, Tom. What is this? Ooh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> right, back to here. We're going to do one super hard one now. I'm going to have one more handful of food. One super tough one, Monts. Are you ready for Tom? If you get it, you're going to have all of these. I promise oh, you. Word. I promise you. Oh, my word. Are you ready? Right, I'm going to up my game. Are you ready? Game. I think he's ready. Are you ready? I'm going to up my game. Steady. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is oh, it? What is awful. it? It was awful. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? <laughs> right. Oh my. There's even food here. I think you're going to try this time to put the bowl down. Let's okay. just see it. And if he does, you're just going to cover it or get yeah. it. Do not let him have it. Huh? Ready? Uh, uh. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even trick him. Like literally, oh. you're not doing it. You're well, not, we it's should not be pleased. Cutting we it. should we be should pleased. Be. It's I what am we're pleased. teaching you. We're do, we, we, we've been successful. So, guys, you know what? You can have fun with this. It's a great game Monty's to get the had family fun. involved. With. We've had fun. <laughs> you know what? It's a whistle recall. You can get the whistles from our website. Yeah, you can get the whistles from our website. And actually, we have a whole step by step of whistle games. If you think that this is kind of your thing and it's fun, and we'll, it's we'll post our a, thing. Um, a, a, a link in the description below this video and a special discount for all of you so that you can you can get involved with it but basically take action on what we taught you if you haven't already subscribed to the youtube channel make sure to do so if you have a friend and they would like to see this or you know this would be a good share for them because you know they've been struggling on their recall just like monty was you know what please share it sharing is caring we know that the world is a better place when dogs behave better there's more fun there's more enrichment it's a good time take action we will see you in the next episode Remember, Game Changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25-day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember, to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content and free training using the links in the description.